NC State. 19 to 17 over Florida State. And who Jordan Travis. What are you doing with that pick in the end zone, my brother? That was a bad spot. Bad spot. Late in that ball game. You had you had the field goal in your back pocket. If you had to, if you had to rely on it, it was there. But that loft to the end zone for Jordan Travis at the end of that game cost him the football game. And there were other things that cost him the game, but my gosh, what a bad spot. Uh, NC State, they were favored by three. They only won by two. Uh, Devin Leary did go out injured in this game late. Uh, that was, I don't know what to make of NC State going forward because this kid, Jack Chambers, uh, they did nothing with him. Like, <laughs> nothing at all. They didn't let him throw. Like, I think he threw the ball one time. Uh, it was it was not, not great. He ran the ball seven times for 39 yards, so I guess that's good. Uh, Jordan Houston ran the ball 24 times for 90 yards. Like, that's that's awesome. Uh, but overall, NC State won the turnover battle 2-1. to one. Florida State had two fourth-down failures to just one for North Carolina State. Uh, Florida State won the yardage, 387 to 307. They won yards per play, 6.7 to 4.4. That's the second straight game that Florida State has won the yardage battle by a lot and then lost the game. Did the same thing against Wake Forest last week. Um they won rushing 206 to 182. They won drive points 14 to 7. Florida State did all of this. Uh, this was interesting because Florida State looked better at the line of scrimmage, and I thought that they wouldn't. And NC State found a way to win this ballgame. I mean, props to them. Uh, Jordan Travis had seven carries for 108 yards. Now, one, of course, was that 71 yard touchdown. Holy South said the NC State offense is not good. They're not. <laughs> They're so bad. Like, if I'm Dave Doran, uh, I liked the Tim Beck hire initially. I don't like it now that I've seen what he's trying to do. They they are so uncreative. Teams, he, they're so predictable. I, I just, I can't, you've got a guy in Devin Leary that a lot of people think is an NFL quarterback, and you don't let him go out and do anything with the ball. Like, it just, it blows my mind watching it. Because I think that they are, I think they could be a lot better if you look at the pieces that they've actually got. And their play calling, their scheme is just brutal. Like, it's not a good scheme at all. So I I have not been impressed with NC State's offense. I don't know of anybody that actually is. But that is, that's just rough. I mean, the whole thing's just rough. Uh, I, I look at this, Devin Leary was 10 out of 21 passing obviously before injury, for 130 uh, yards, one touchdown, one interception. Jordan Travis, 15 out of 30, 181 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Yeah, you know, he did have 100 yards rushing. He had the 71-yard run. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think Florida State's bad. I think this is going to be an interesting test with Clemson going to Florida State next week because I, I do think that Florida State is, like, right there. They are so close. Uh, Holy South said, as a Buckeye fan, yes, Tim Beck is boring. It's mind-blowing. Like, there was some stuff that they were doing, even just last year, that I was like, okay, like, this is, even during the, the 2020 season, they did some cool stuff, and it's like they have tried to take all of the risk out of the game. They don't want to lose a game on a play. And it's like, yeah, but you got to do something to try and win the game. So, what are, what is the point here, NC State? Like, what? What are you trying to accomplish? And I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.